Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augustine. Please, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if I've been watching my videos and you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to look at the derivative of the general logarithm function. You prove the derivative and then solve several examples, different examples to build our understanding. Now, if we have y equal to log x base a, from the definition of logarithm, the base must be raised to the power to give the number. So a exponent y is equal to x. We are going to differentiate this implicitly with respect to x. So we take the derivative of a to the power y with respect to x and the derivative of x with respect to x. Check the description for the video on derivative of general exponential function and then the derivative of implicit, that is implicit differentiation. You can also ask for that video at the comment section and I'll give it to you. So here, how do we do this one? Join me as we go through. So here, if I have a exponent y, I'm going to differentiate implicitly. I'll first differentiate a exponent y with respect to y. Very simple as that. And that will give me a exponent y natural log of a. And since we are differentiating it implicitly with respect to x, you bring dy on dx. This is equal to, if we differentiate x with respect to x, we are going to get 1. So here we are going to divide through by a exponent y lin a. So here, the derivative of y with respect to x will be equal to 1 divided by a to the power y times the natural log of a. Check the description for the video on how to differentiate general exponential functions. And you get to know why we had this. And if you check the description for uh, implicit differentiation too, you know why you multiply it by dy on dx. Now, what is y? y is log x base a. So this implies that the derivative of log x base a with respect to x is equal to 1 divided by what is a exponent y? x times the natural log of a. Wow. Now, if we take y equal to log j of x base a, we have a to the power y is equal to j of x. So if we differentiate this implicitly with respect to x, we are going to have um, a to the power y natural log of a dy on dx is equal to j prime of x. j prime of x means derivative of this with respect to x. If we divide through by a to the power y natural log of a, we are going to have the derivative of y with respect to x equal to j prime of x divided by a to the power y times natural log of a. What is y? log j of x means a. So here the derivative of log j of x base a with respect to x is equal to j prime of x divided by a to the power y that is j of x times the natural log of a. So let's take more examples to build our understanding. Now the first example that we are going to consider, we are going to consider y equal to log x to the base 5. The derivative of y with respect to x, that is y prime, will be given by what? There's our gen of x. So we take gen of x. So we take d dx, the derivative of x with respect to x, divided by j of x, that is x, times the natural log of what? a. 
And what is A? A is the base, and here we have base 5. If we differentiate x with respect to x, we are going to get 1 divided by x natural log of 5. So here, y equal to log x base 5 is the same as y equal to log x base a. So if we differentiate log x base a, you see you get 1 divided by x natural log of a. All in a. Now let's move on. Let's take y equal to log 3x to the base 2. So here, y prime will be, you are going to differentiate this. And that will give us 3 divided by the same term. 3x natural log of the base 2. That's what we have here. You take j of x, you differentiate it. Then you divide it by gen of x times natural log of a, that is the base. So here, this 3 will cancel this 3. We have y prime equal to 1 divided by x natural log of 2. Wow. Very, very simple. Now let's move to the next example. Let's take y equal to natural log of 5x squared. Here, y prime will be, we take 5x squared and differentiate it. So here we have d, dx, 5x squared, divided by 5x squared times the natural log of, what is the base? 10. Is in base 10, right? Here, y prime is equal to, if we differentiate 5x squared, we are going to get 10x squared divided by 5x squared times the natural log of 10. y prime will be equal to, 5 will go into 10, 2. And here, x squared, sorry, there won't be any squared. 2 times 5 is 10, so there won't be any squared. All divided by x times the natural log of 10. For here, x will go to itself 1, x will go here, x. Very simple as that. Now let's move on to more complex ones. Now, let's take the next example. Here we are going to consider a very difficult one. y equal to cosine log x to the power 8. Sorry, base 8, not to the power 8. Sure. So this is the function of a function. So we are going to use the composite function or the chain rule. So here we let u equal to the inner one, that is log x base 8. And this implies that you have y equal to cosine u. Here u prime will be given by what? To give by 1 divided by x natural log of 8. And here y dy on du will be negative sine u and that is negative sine log x base 8 here u prime is the same as du on dx so here y prime that is derivative of y respect to x will be du dx that is 1 on x times natural log of 8 times negative sine log x base 8 and that will give us minus sine log x base 8 divided by x times natural log of 8 as our final answer let's move on
Now the next question we are going to consider is we have f of x equal to we have f of x equal to log into bracket 5x squared minus 1 all to the power 9. Sure. Okay, let's do this one. Here, this is a function of a function. So I'm going to use the chain rule again. So check the description for my videos on how to use the chain rule. That is doing the chain rule in your head. So let's do it in our head. First, we are going to have f of x, that is f prime of x, the derivative of f respect to x to be, you bring this line in front. Then we have log 5x squared minus 1. Then we subtract 1 from this to get 8. Then we will differentiate the inner function. And what is the inner function? So we take the derivative of log 5x squared minus 1 with respect to x. So this will give us 9 times log 5x squared minus 1 to the power 8 and how do we differentiate this we take the inner one and differentiate that will give us 10x divided by the inner one times the natural log of the base and here the base is 10 so our final answer will be 90x times log 5x squared minus 1 to the power 8 all divided by 5x squared minus 1 times the natural log of 10 as our final answer very simple as that so here, if you cannot do it in your head, use the chain rule. Check the description for my video on uh, chain rule or composite function. You can let u to be equal to this. That is, you take u to be equal to log of 5x squared minus 1. And that you have f of x equal to u to the power 9. Then you find d f on the u to be 9u to the power 8 and u is this that is why we had this then after that you differentiate this one as we've done very simple as that now the next one the next one is um we have j of x is equal to cosine x log 2x so this one we are going to use the, the product rule so here j prime of x will be equal to you differentiate this so d the cosine of x dx times log 2x plus cosine of x times dd log 2x we differentiate cosine I have minus sine x times log 2x plus if we differentiate log 2x that's why the cosine we are going to get x divided by sorry 2 divided by x lean 10 because here the base is 10 let's check and see if our guess is correct if you have log 2x we take the 2x and differentiate you get x divided by the same 2x then lean 10 so here this will cancel so we are having oh sorry 
you get two. So here two cancel two, so it will be one. Rather, check it well. We take g of x prime divided by g of x in x. So this is g of x, g of x prime. If we differentiate two x, you get two. You divide this by two x times natural log of ten. For the base here is ten. So two cancel two, and you get this. We were guessing wrongly. Now we have minus sine x log two x plus cosine x divided by x natural log of ten. That's our final answer. Wow. Let's move on. Now, here, hmm, this is very tricky. We have um, log, this is to the base 3. And what do we have? I have x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 divided by uh, e to the power x. Sure. So let's see. Hmm. How do we do this one? From the laws of logarithm, if the numbers are divided, we subtract. So here, don't go and use the quotient rule. You waste your time. So here, we are going to take log base 3, x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 minus log e to the power x base 3. Wow. Very simple as that. Now, what are we going to do? You differentiate this one and divide it by the same function times the natural log of the base. So let's do that. We have d dx x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 divided by x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 times the natural log of 3. You see that? Minus what do we do here? What we are going to do here is very simple. So we take this one, we take the dx times the natural times e to the power x divided by the same e to the power x times the natural log of 3. Wow. So let's move on. If we differentiate this one, we are going to have 5x to the power 4 minus 2 divided by x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 times the natural log of 3. Minus, if you differentiate e to the power x, you get the same e to the power x divided by e to the power x times the natural log of 3. And what will happen? This e to the power x will take away e to the power x. So we'll be left with 5x to the power 4 minus 2 divided by x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 times the natural log of 3 minus 1 divided by the natural log of 3. Very simple as that. So here, um, should we simplify it further? No need. Let's leave our answer here. That is, if you have y equal to this, then y prime, y prime, y prime. So here, the limit of y respect to x will be given by this. Sure, that's good. Very, very simple as that. Now let's simplify it further. Just to uh, boost our confidence for the mathematics. So here, what will be the LCM? The LCM will be this, since lane 3 can be found here. So we take x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 times the natural log of 3. Now if this one divides this, we are going to get 1 times the numerator, you have 5x to the power 4 minus 2. Now, if lane 3 divides this, the lane 3 will cancel the lane 3, and you have what is at the top. So, you have minus 1 times x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1. Wow. And here, y prime will now be minus x to the power 5. 
plus 5x to the power 4 plus 2x minus 3. Check it out. Minus times x to the power 5, we have this. Then this is 5x to the power 4. Minus times minus to give us positive. Minus times positive to give us minus. Minus 1, minus 2 give us minus 3. All divided by x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 1 times the natural log of 3. Very simple as that. As the final answer. Now let's take another example. Consider this one. We have y is equal to log 7x cubed minus 2x to the power 6. So here you use the loss of logarithm. You write y to be equal to 6 times log 7x cubed minus 2x. And then 6 is a constant. So y prime will be 6 times. We differentiate the inner one. That is 21x squared minus 2 divided by the inner one. 7x cubed minus 2x times the natural log of the base. That is 10. So you have y prime would be equal to 6 times 21. Let's do 21 by 6. You have 6, 12. So you have 1, 2, 6, x squared minus 12. Divided by 7x cubed minus 2x, then you have natural log of 10 as our final answer. Now, what about this one? Um, I have here as um, log x squared times the square root of x squared plus 1. So here, what do we do? You know that if you have log a, b, it's the same as log a plus log b. So use that property here. You write this as log x squared plus log x squared plus 1 to the power half. And this is the same as log x squared plus half log x squared plus 1. Wow, mathematics is beautiful. Mathematics is a girl. <laughs> now, this is our y equal to this, y equal to. So we have y now, we have y now to be equal to 2 log x, that is bring the 2 here from the third law of logarithm, plus half log x squared plus 1 and here we have y to be equal to 2 times 1 divided by x natural log of 10 that is the base 10 plus half times 2x divided by x squared plus 1 natural log of 10 that is the base and that will give us 2 divided by x natural log of 10 plus 2 cancel 2 x divided by x squared plus 1 natural log of 10 wow very simple as that so here yeah, that is that no need to simplify it further. So that will be our y prime. So whenever you have um, log, you can use the loss of logarithm and then simplify what you have been giving further. So if you simplify what you have been giving further, I think it will lead you there. Yes, it will definitely lead you there. So let's take the last example and then you will say goodbye to our uh, this. Let's take assume that we have um, y is equal to log sine x 
under 12 weeks. So let's see. We have y equal to log sine x all to the power half. So what do we do? We are going to use the chain rule. So let me put it here. Y equal to log sine x all to the power half. So here, we let u equal to log sine x. This implies that y is equal to u to the power half and the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 1 divided by 2 root u. I've been telling you to watch my video from the description. That is basic differentiation and you get to understand this. This is the same as 1 divided by 2 root log sine x. Because u is log sine x. Now, du on dx will be given by cosine x divided by sine x ln 10. Because here it is to the base 10. Very simple as that. And this is the same as cosine x on sine x times 1 divided by ln 10. And this will give us cotangent x on the natural log of 10. Very simple as that. Because cosine divided by sine is cotangent. Cotangent times 1 divided by natural log of 10 gives us cotangent x divided by natural log of 10. Amazing. Now, we have dy du and du ds. So you can find y prime, that is dy dx. So here, dy on dx, that is y prime, is equal to du on dx times dy on du. And that is du ds. Cotangent x divided by the natural log of 10 times dy du. 1 divided by 2 times the square root of log sine x. And that will give us cotangent x divided by 2 times the square root of log sine x times the natural log of 10. As our final answer. If you have any questions, you can WhatsApp me on plus two three three two four five three sixty seven nine three, and I'll be of help to you. And it's also my mobile money number, so you can uh, send me something support to support my channel to produce quality videos.